going to show you a solution to one of the problems you might come and have. Um, this is especially for the people that travel a lot in the world, have to move like you're living in the military or you're living on a boat, on a yacht. And uh, you might have the problem that you move to a country or you get on shore in a harbor where you do not have your 120 volt 60 hertz cycle and you will find the other cycle we have on the world, the 230 50 hertz cycle. And, uh, but you still want to use your appliances and you find it hard to get the 60 hertz. For this I have a solution for you now. It's the power exchanger. The power exchanger is a device that is bringing your 120 to 60 hertz. So whenever you have this problem, you now have a solution. I'm going to show you what you get in the box. First you get it in a very good and stable box, so when it is shipped around the world to reach you, it will come there safe and sound. This unit that we have here is the uh, design series. This comes with a special kit. In the kit you have an uh, outlet. This outlet lets you connect. This outlet lets you connect your devices to the power exchanger. It has a port that connects to the exchanger and you have two outlets with a separate switch. You can either uh, mount this outlet to the wall or you can just have it placed next to your device. In the second box that you have inside here, you will get all kinds of cords with all the plugs that are available on the planet. So whenever you go somewhere and you do not have your 120 uh, volts American standard plug, you will have it in the box. So, now the power exchanger is unpacked, that's how the design series looks like. You can get the design series in the color white or black. This one is the white one. And the special thing about the power exchanger in um, the design series is you can get it in three models right now at the moment from 5, 10 and 15 amps. This here, this unit, the size of the unit is 10 amps, which can handle 1200 watts of power in an appliance. As you can see, it's very neat, it's very slim, and you can either place it where, or you can hang it on the wall. For this, you have these um, slots back there and a mount, mounting bracket. This is the left side of the unit. There you plug in the 230 volts 50 hertz with a switch. And on this side of the unit you can plug in either your device directly or the special connector where you can have connect two devices with a separate switch. This is the wall mounting bracket. You can mount it to the wall if you like. And you also get uh, your operating manual. So I will now connect the device um, to the 230 watts 50 hertz cycle. This I have over here is already connected and you plug it into the side. So now the power exchanger is connected and I now will turn it on on the switch I have on the left side. Once I turn it on, uh, the unit will power up and you will see the X uh, lighting up on the device. I am using this power exchanger, the X10 model, which provides me 1200 watts uh, on a Ninja Blender. This Ninja Blender requires 1200 watts um, maximum, so this is suitable for the device. Here you have now two options. You can either take the X10 
exchange outlet, what I will do right now, and plug it right into this outlet. And now I'm having in these outlets 120 volts, 60 hertz. I plug in my blender and I turn the switch on so I have the power and power on the blender and then you can just so this is how the power exchanger works so when every time you have a problem that you only have 200 to 240 volts 50 hertz cycle and you require 120 volts 60 hertz you will have a power exchange unit as your solution and as I told you in the beginning you have the option for 5, 10 and 15 amps you can place it on a shelf next to your unit or you can mount it to the wall uh, you have numerous appliances for it either on just a kitchen device your wash machine, your dishwasher or many people use it on their high-end audio systems, especially when you have a turntable that requires 60 hertz.